So how many bikes do you have? Around 20 or so. Do you really? Left, yeah. No kidding. Left, he's got 20 left, he says. <laughs> I collect a lot of things. <laughs> Motorcycles, uh, Volkswagens, um, XYs. <laughs> <laughs> you got any knuckleheads? I got a couple. Okay. Ooh. What year? Uh, uh, 38 and uh, 46. Oh, nice. I, you know, I've in the past done very little selling, but I started to sell now. I have a lot of stuff, and my daughter's not going to want to mess with it. Where's the four at? Uh, the four uh, uh, is that one. <laughs> oh, man. Holy mackerel, dude. Yeah. That, that went through a fire in <laughs> 1992. That was one of the bikes that I lost in a fire. I lost 15 kickstart bikes in a fire. He didn't say that, dude. He didn't tell me. So it's on a pole. Yeah. Now I know why he didn't send me a picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's been in a fire. And um, it, it's a piece of art. <laughs> is that for sale, really? Yeah. It's a four-cylinder. It's a, it's a four-cylinder frame. It's a 1940 four-cylinder frame. When I had it, when it was before it was in the fire, it had the original paint on it, the original script, uh, Indian script. Uh, really? Tires. It was all. It was all original paint. Yeah, all original paint. Oh my gosh. Thirty-eight thousand miles on it. Oh my gosh. The 1941 Indian four-cylinder is probably one of the most rare antique motorcycles in the world. I mean, it's a great bike. It's a skirted, fendered bike. They are our beautiful machines going down the road. They're stylish, they sound wonderful, and they really function well. And that came from uh, New Hampshire. Really? Is this, yeah. this thing going to fall over? Maybe. Look at the handlebars. Look at the handlebars. <laughs> yeah. at the handlebars. <laughs> They're all like curled up. Is that from the heat? Stuff fell on it. How long has it been up there? Um, 20 years. Actually, I've been, there's been numerous people that have wanted to buy that, that bike in that condition. But I just wanted to look at it. The tubing's not rotted, Mike. You let can see, see it clearly. Let me, it's let me not see, rotted see the other side of it. The tanks are, the tanks are shot. It's definitely worse shape now than it was. The tanks were fairly good condition when I put them up there, but they were rusted through. Very cool. The rear rack is the cast iron rack, Mike. That's not going nowhere. That's good. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Seeing this for the first time, I mean, obviously, you're knocked back on your heels, but then Jersey's up there looking at it. He's like, hey, there's no cracks in the frame. It looks solid. You know, it looks like it's pretty much all there. It's got the toolbox on it. The fenders are there. They're not rotted away. I've, I've worked with worse on early bikes. Yeah, definitely, man. I mean, we have found motorcycle frames over the years that I've had to chip out of frozen chicken crap. There's a dead chicken above your head. Look at it. Ah. Here, you want a leg? We've dealt with a lot of different types of motorcycles. You know, they're like literally sitting in the dirt. Yeah. But, you know, Jersey's the man when it comes to frame repair, and he's looking at it going, this ain't that bad. Wow, cool. All right, so. So what are you, th what are you thinking on that? 20,000? <laughs> I just kidding. you. <laughs> kind of kind of looks bent up there from the heat and Jersey. This is no big deal for Jersey. Well, here's the deal. I have a 41 Indian four-cylinder engine. Oh, you do? I have a complete engine. Oh, yeah, I have a complete you engine. You got the hard part done. No, the hard part's the up there. Oh, oh right, right in yeah. there. I just bought an engine. You know, and the engines are around. You know, people took the engines and they used them to run a pump or a corn shell or whatever it was. The chassis, it's, 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 it's so hard to find. This is a great project to restore. Like, how are you going to get it down? Yeah, you got uh, I got a forklift. You got a forklift we can get up there? Easy. Okay. If you got the forklift, then why don't we just pull it down? I'll, I can look it over really good. <laughs> Dude, we're going to have a deal before I pull it down. Oh, you want a deal before you pull it down? It's amazing that we had an opportunity to even find this bike in the wild. You just don't see these things. I mean, this is an Indian four-cylinder on a pole in California. It's surreal. Ten thousand bucks for this. For ten thousand bucks for this, and two grand for the bicycle. 2200 for the bicycle. Okay. So 12 and two. Delivered to here. Yeah, get that off the <laughs> off of there, right here. Right? Okay, yeah. 
Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thank man. You, buddy. Dude, this is working out really this good. This is cool. Hey, <laughs> this is fantastic. Holy but, crap. I didn't know what I was going to be doing this morning, man. Now, here I am getting an Indian four cylinder frame off a pole. I can't tell you the last time I even had an opportunity to buy of 1941 Indian four cylinder chassis. They don't show up. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen one for sale. Lower Clutch down it. a little bit. Lower down. Let's see. Kill it, Mike. No way, dude. Now we can actually see it. We can put our hands on it. See, I mean, you know, <laughs> we're looking it over, and it just it looks pretty cool. Woo! I'm engaged now. You know, I'm locked in. Okay, I'm already in for 10 grand, so it's like I'm hoping this is going to be what I think it's going to be. The speedometer's still there, the, the, the Corbin speedo. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks so much better and so much more beautiful looking at it eye to eye. You've seen bikes worse than this restore. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. To restore a motorcycle like this, it's probably gonna cost $80,000 to restore a bike like this. To take it apart, put it back together again, it doesn't matter. I mean, these bikes are exceeding $100,000 now. All right, so what do we gotta do then? We gotta cut that off or what do you, how do you wanna do it? You can just cut this. Imagine the life that this bike has lived. 30 some thousand original miles, original paint. <laughs> New Hampshire, rugged country, running wild through the mountains. Comes to California, gets burned out, its soul ripped from it, it's on a post, and then boom, now it's being lowered, and now we're cutting the bolts from the anchor that it's been chained to all of these years, and we're rolling it off. Yeah, she's free. Her yeah. jersey at the front. Yeah, hold on, hold on. There we go. There we go. You know, we're giving it a new life. We're breathing air into this thing, and I just love this moment. Here, let's sit, let's put it on the center stand. Will that move? One of the things I love about the antique motorcycle world is that there's always someone out there that's willing to take something to the next level. All right. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> okay. This bike is beginning a new journey with Jersey John and I. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.